Hi everyone, welcome back again in Next Laws 4. Before we go further, I want to slow down and make sure you're okay. Because people start to get it and say, yeah, I'm okay. Do remember with my videos, they're always in the playlist, numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. Sometimes if you look at my playlist and you look at number one, you go, that's too easy. You mightn't even go for two, you might watch three or four or five. Watch out for the trap though, a lot of people get down to five and don't realise that six, seven, eight, and nine are the things that people get wrong in the assessments all the time. So sometimes you might want to jump ahead or, especially the night before tests, go and do those later ones. I'm also starting to make videos too where it's just revision for tests. So that's going to come. Uh, I've got some of them now, but there's going to be more of them. So just six of them, should only be quick. Seven is called the base, so let's talk about that one more time. And the bases don't change. Feel like make a big note that the bases don't change. Now we're not calculating the answer. If they say to you calculate the answer, you could pick up your calculator and do it, or you could work it out if you knew your time statements well enough. So a seven to the power of four by seven to the power of two. You could think about it the long way. Seven by seven by seven by seven by seven by seven. And if you listen to what I'm saying. How many times have I said it? I've said it six times. So the shortcut is add the powers, but the bases stay the same. The bases don't change. So what we're doing is the baby numbers, the little numbers. I like to call them baby numbers. You haven't heard me before. The baby numbers are four and a two. And I love to talk about babies count. I do like keep saying duckies. You'll get sick of me saying it. Four duckies plus two duckies are six duckies. Of course, this is not ducks. This is talking about we had seven by seven four times. So this one is a 10 by a 10 and another five of them. So the tens, the bases don't change. So many, many students go 10, tens or 100 and they write 100 to the power of seven. So the baby numbers, when you're multiplying, remember with the multiplication, it's like there's a multiply sign. When you do an index laws, they become a plus. So if you keep getting mixed up, hopefully you can picture me going, multiply becomes a plus. So the multiply up here is a two plus a five is a seven. And you can see I keep trying to write them a lot smaller than these. Keeps it clearer. When you're doing the divide, what can happen is the fives stay the same, the bases stay the same. We could write this as five by five by five by five by five. I'll do it, let's do it. On the top of the fraction, and on the bottom of the fraction, because there's your numerator, there's your denominator. Is one, two, three, four, crosses out, crosses out, crosses out, crosses out, and you're left with five to the power of one. Now, if you want to write five to the one, you can, but you don't have to. So, the shortcut is if you're comfortable with it, five take four is one. Now, this topic of index laws comes through everything later on in maths. It's used in any topic with any maths in it all. You'll see things where they're repeated two, three, four, five, six, seven even 20, 50 times. And so you've just got to be careful about what you're doing and which law you learn. If I had a three by three to the eight, so many students I've said before will write that as three to the eight. A lot of students will write it as nine to the eight. So they'll go three threes and nine and the eight. The bases don't change. The bases stay the same. So it's still going to be three. Now, if you had some money in the bank and you multiplied by three, will your bank account stay the same? No. Oh, I'd love it if they took my bank account and multiplied it by three. I'd get a lot more money than what I've got there at the moment. So, it can't possibly stay the same. And if you want to think about it, this is three by a whole lot of threes. So there's now one more three than what we had before. So instead of having eight of them, we now have nine of them. What's a shortcut if you want to think this way? That's a three to the one. So there's one of them. There's eight of them. So all together there's nine of them. Let's wind it up. So this one you could write as ten to the one. And what do you do when you're dividing? See there's a subtract to remind you when you're dividing. The bases stay the same, which is a ten. And the four, the five I mean, the five, I said the answer, five take one is four. You could do it the long way and write them as fractions if you want comfortable. So when we get to algebra later, we'll show you what that is. So a nice shortcut for this one. 2 to the 8 is pretty horrible. I know what it is. It's 256. And 2 to the 5, I know it's 32. And if you're in my class, I nag about those numbers all the time as so they keep coming up. 
shortcut is if you're dividing we're going to subtract the little numbers the baby numbers americans call them the exponent we call them the index or the power so with two stay the same and eight minus five is just three now they didn't say calculate the answer usually what they'll say is simplify using index laws and this is index law number two and this is index law number one I hope it helps and you enjoyed it and we'll make some more.